Hello, hello. I am back from New Mexico. Uncle Bud and I went down there and hunted two pronghorn antelope. Just had the time of our life. And uh, I had everything in the cooler for, it's about a day and a half now, and a big salty brine. And I was able to take this bigger, uh, I think this is a 105 Yeti. A 105 Yeti is a little bit taller, and I was able to get bull skulls and all the meat in here. So I'm gonna pull them out and get them done. And I love, I love the look of the white, fleshy, kind of blood-written skulls. Look at that giant that Bud harvested. Holy cow. This is the one I shot. So I'm gonna go right down in a pot of boiling water and then we'll pick up at the power washing time. It is good to have you back. Thank you for clicking and thank you for watching. Now while those skulls are in the pot there boiling away, what I'm gonna do is take that meat out of the cooler that I've brined and got all that blood out and I'm just gonna go through while I have some time waiting on that boil to just trim off all the excess fat, get me some nice clean cuts and go through the meat. Kind of uh, kill two birds with one stone type deal. Once it's come to a boil, it doesn't take very long with antelope. I like to pull those skulls out, put them between your feet and give those horns a twist. You don't really need to smack an antelope horn. They'll typically just twist right off and then you're good to go. I like to cut the tips of the horn cores off of them. I just have got in the habit of doing this to everything with a horn. The reason I do it is I can wash inside. It helps me refit them a little bit easier. And I just like the idea that I'm getting it nice and clean all the way around. The next little step here is just this tried and true method that I absolutely love. I'm gonna power wash all the flesh off the bone. So I'm gonna use the little red tip nozzle, which is just a straight nozzle, and I'm gonna spray into every hole in every orifice. Anywhere there's meat or tissue, I am gonna make it go away. Let's get to spraying. Fast forward makes it easy, but it will take more than 20 seconds. Count on to being about 15, 20 minutes of spraying per skull. From here, I take that hot pot off the burner, I dump it out, and then I add my white bone creations mix. Now this is a leftover batch from a project I worked on earlier in the week. So clean skulls go in the white bone creations mix. That comes to a boil. Once it's hit a boil, I pull them out, I power wash them clean, and the skull washing cleaning process is done. Y'all, we are clipping right along here. So I set them in front of a fan in the garage overnight and I put the horn sheath over the top of a dryer so everything gets good and dry. Once that's done, they look bright white and clean and dry. I like to bondo the horn caps or the sheath back on the horn core. I've just got in the habit of using classic bondo. I don't wanna run any sort of screw in this small horn. So I started using white hardener instead of pink hardener because I think it disappears if you get a little on a black horn or you get it on the skull. Mix it up, put it inside the horn, slide them in place and let them dry. 20 or 30 minutes later, I like to put a nice coat of flooring mop and glow on the skull and the horns. It creates a real nice finished look. It helps seal the bone. Uh, it's just beautiful. Hey, what's better than hunting antelope and having it from the hoof to your home in 24 hours? 
nothing's better. It's fantastic. The quicker you can get it from when you got it home to up on the wall where you can say thank you, I think that's better. Shrink that distance. Even if you were gonna mount this one, you could do this. And then when the taxidermist calls and says, hey, the cape is tanned, you could cut it off the skull and have it mounted. So both of them are beautiful. Both of them are just so unique in their own right. But this one here is just one of those, one of those antelope that you just fall in love with. Everything about him is beautiful. His warped nature, his hooks, his cutters, his, man, all of it. He's just super, super, super cool. That is it. We got plenty more to come. I'm gonna share so much more video moving forward. I'll tell you about the big changes that are coming that are for the better. And um, like always, thank you so much for watching.